Hi right, guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to talk about prints, having your artwork turned into prints. Now this is not something that I've personally um, done for to, to sell my artwork or anything like that, but I have got a couple of pieces uh, printed professionally just to see how they would turn out because um, I was thinking about it not that long ago. I've been getting quite a lot of questions asking me if I knew anything about uh, having professional prints done, that type of thing. And I wasn't able to really answer those questions properly. So I wanted to put myself in a situation where I was able to help people out whenever it comes to selling their prints. Now, for those of you that are wondering about prints and the reasons why you would do it, it's because Basically, if you create uh, an original piece of artwork, you're only going to be able to sell that once. Now, in all probability, depending on the artwork, the, depending on the genre, the, the, the materials used, the size, all, all these other things, depending on a m multitude of different things, will depend on what sort of price you can get for that original. But what you can do... Um, is also sell prints now you can do it in like a, a limited edition form so have 50 of them printed out and sell them that way or just keep them open so you can just sell them as often as you like that type of thing as well um however in this day and age you want to be able to when you're selling even prints because i tried doing it on just our ordinary printer and when i compared it beside the the professional prints it's not even worth talking about and when i'm talking about ordinary printer i'm talking about your ordinary 150 pound type printer that you would get at home for schoolwork printing schoolwork printing your odd the odd photo on some glossy paper that type of thing uh it's just catastrophic the the difference between the two um so the reasons why you would do it is in this day and age, like I say, the, even the print quality that people are sending out now for their customers is super high quality. So I took a, look, a little look about the internet, um, and especially here in the UK, I did originally look in my own hometown to see if there was anywhere that done Glisse printing. Now, I'm probably butchering the name of that. Um, the the correct spell and of it will be coming up on your screen here and I will uh you know I will tell you exactly what glisse printing is in a second but in my hometown here in Durham there was no word that did it and in fact actually I when I phoned up a couple of printing companies they didn't even know what glisse printing was so um but I'd heard a lot of other artists use the term glisse printing uh, I'd looked it up and, and I wanted to have a you know I wanted to see if there was anywhere local that would do it. So I couldn't find anywhere local. So I found Aris Printing, uh, this company here. I reached out to them, uh, asked them about it, and they sent me a sample pack of the different types of papers that they that you can have your artwork printed on uh, so that you can, you know, if you're going to get some artwork done, you can have it on glossy or matte type paper. I'll go through that again in a second and let you know uh, the types of papers. And also, just a heads up, um, I'm not getting paid by this company for advertising or anything like that. Um, if you go across and order from them, then that's great. If you don't, that's entirely up to you as well. It's just I reached out to this company. They sent me their sample pack. And it was great having a look at the sample pack, but I really wanted to have a look at my own work. In this format, so I got a couple of uh, I, I got a couple of pieces of my own artwork and got them printed off in two different paper types. The paper types that I thought looked the best for me, um, and I'll I'll show you that in a second as well. And I was blown away by the, the the quality of their work, the way everything was presented, how it was all sent out to me, uh, how it was so well protected, and so because of that. That's the reason why I'm talking about this particular company, which I will have links for down below. You can go out and you can take a look at the, the, the website yourself uh, and see if it's good enough for you or if it's good, if if it would benefit you in some way. So Glisse printing, okay, is basically what it means is, um, according to the company, 
<clears throat> I click say print. It's a high quality, high resolution reproduction print of original artwork using archival pigment inks and archival fine art paper. The fine art paper is acid free. A glissé print will be light fast and will last for a hundred years without fading. Our, uh, and then it goes on to say here, our glissé printing gives artists the opportunity to sell reproduction prints of their original art um, at a more reasonable price. And that, I guess, is the key. Because if you do an original piece of art and you sell it, um, like I was saying earlier on, depending on a multiple of things, uh, a multitude of different things, you're going to get a, a significant amount of money for that one original art piece. But once that's gone, it's gone. And so when you're selling prints, you're obviously not going to sell them for the same type of price that you would sell the original. But nevertheless, you want to be given out high quality products. So let's take a look at the different sample things that came through here for me uh, from Iris Printing. So now listen, all the artwork that's on these images is by other artists. Um, I will name the, the artists of the, of the images because these are not my images, obviously. Uh, and so it's important to let you know who the artists are. Uh, and I'll have a, a, a link to the artists just in case you want to go and check out their work as well because, you know, we're all artists at the end of the day and we all love checking out other people's work. Um, <clears throat> so this one here is done by Colin Carter. Uh, you can see the artwork. I'm not too sure what it's done by, but this is done on um, 230 GSM smooth white matte art paper. So you can take a little look there. I know on this camera you're not going to get to see the full print at its best, so to speak, but you can get a gist of what it is. But when I show you in a second my original artwork and what how the prints came out, that might show you better. <coughs> yeah, Coda thinks so as well. Thank you, Coda. You can sit down, son. Good lad. Uh, this one here is... Um... Thank you. That's enough. This one here is uh, a photograph by John Goodwin, and this is uh, done on 310 GSM exhibition photo. Uh, Bariada, I'm not too sure. I'll have it printed up coming on the screen here. This is uh, a slightly more glossy print, as you can see by the light reflecting off it, uh, but the paper is quite thick as well. Uh, this is the artwork here is Laura Bowen, and this is a... 315 GSM soft textured natural white 100% cotton fine art paper uh, and it's kind of like a, a watercolor like a hot press watercolor paper again nice and thick and when you know when you're thinking about all of this when you are selling a print to somebody they, they if they're going to spend 20 quid or 25 pound whatever it is um, on a print they're going to want to know that they're getting quality and this is the best way to do that because you don't want to uh, cheap out on your customers this one here is drew darcy is the artist and this is a 310 gsm german etching fine art paper again that's like a watercolor it's a little bit like more like a, a cold press uh texture to it beautiful paper and you can see there that the artwork just comes out stunning this one here is uh ben wood is the photographer and this is done on 310 GSM photo ride, bright white, 100% cotton paper. Again, um, really good quality paper. You can hear there the thickness of it. Uh, Johnny Pugsley is the artist behind this one. And this is printed on um, 180 GSM matte coated poster paper and obviously as I'm showing you these different prints and what have you on the different papers they will cost you the artist a lot you know depending on what type of paper you're going to use will depend on the price um, and when you contact the company they will give you the prices of the, the you tell them what paper you want what size you want and they'll give you uh, like a, a a price of 
what you would have to pay. And then you put on top of that what you are going to sell it to for your customer to, to make your own money back, that type of thing. Um, this is another one by John Goodwin, a uh, photograph. And this is uh, printed on 300 GSM Pearl Premium Photo Paper. So another glossy print. Really nice. Um, this one here is... There's no artist name on this. This is uh, 315 Natural Soft Textured Fine Art. Again, a little bit like hot press uh, watercolour paper. Nice and thick. Um, the, this is done by uh, McNeil Studio. Is the artist. Uh, this is done on uh, 280 GSM Soft White 25% Cotton Fine Art Paper. So again... Not like the 100% fine art, 100% uh, cotton paper, so uh, a little less cotton than this paper. So this paper would cost you slightly less as an artist to order prints from. Uh, Sam Cannon is the artist, and this is done on 210 Decor Smooth art paper. And then you can have um, like canvas. So this is a, a, a canvas that you can have your, your work printed on. So... When I got the, the sample work through, I thought to myself, okay, that's great. Shows you the um, shows you the artwork really well and what have you, the different types of paper that you can order or have your prints done on. But I think the best way to, to judge this is to purchase, um, put some of my own work, artwork in and see what the what the outcomes are. So the two pieces that I chose, and I should have really, uh, I should have really put one of my botanical pieces in because if I ever did sell any of my artwork, it would probably be the botanical pieces because there's no copyright around those. They're just images that I take and um, draw them and that's it. It's, um, it's, it's a very safe way of, selling your own art because there's like i say there's no copyright all this fan art stuff that i do is just purely for myself um so the two images that i chose was the captain america one which i done not that long ago and the mandalorian one with the, the baby yoda okay so these are the original art pieces that, that i done and i'm now i'm going to show you the um the Glissé prints that, that I got. Uh, just before I show you those as well, they also sent me these uh, certificate uh, of authenticity, which you can either, you know, order through the company or you can make up yourself. But it gives you a really good idea as to how you can authenticate your work um, and if you're going to do limited edition prints, then you would put one of these in with the, the prints that you're sending off to somebody uh, just to let them know, you know, how many prints there are you're going to be doing of these, what number they have and that type of thing. OK, so the, it, it comes really well packaged up. This is real thick cardboard uh, and inside. Uh, it was all taped down. Uh, it has all this tissue paper in between the different prints to um, keep it from sticking and getting marks on it from the other prints or anything like that. So, um, I'll lift these out. And move this to the side. But the way it was packaged was just phenomenal you, nothing is going to happen to the work on its way to you so i wanted um i wanted like a matte version done and a glossy version of both both images so this is the glossy version of both images uh you can see here the, the colors are so let me let me just do them one at a time here so you can see it properly so the Mandalorian, you can see that the colors are very different, very, really, really bright and vibrant on this glossy one here. 
Um, with the Captain America one as well. Really bright and vibrant. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful prints. I mean, a guy couldn't be more happy with these. Uh, and I think that if anybody was going to order um, something like this from me, I think they would be really, really happy. Um, so the actual size of this is, this is an A4 size print, the actual image, and it has a 20 mil border around the side. So you can see that you can only make out that it has a border through this down at the bottom. Um, and same really with the Mandalorian one. With these gloss ones, they were done on um, 310 GSM exhibition. Uh, the, like I say, the print size is A4 with 20 mil, 20 mil border. And each print is uh, eight pound plus VAT, okay? So the artist would pay eight pound plus VAT and then you would put on top of that what you wanted to, to sell it to your um, to your customers. So if it came to 10 pound all in all, including the VAT, then I don't think uh, asking 20 pound for a, a print like this, especially if it's like a, you know your own piece, a botanical piece, not a fan art piece. Uh, I I don't think twenty pound. I mean, a guy would certainly pay twenty pound for a, a print like that, uh, especially this quality on this type of paper. Knowing that it has all the light fast values and what have you that I've just mentioned to you. I also got the same prints done on matte paper, which is obviously a cheaper option, but nevertheless, so. Again, this is the, the print and this is the original. So you again, you can see the uh, the quality of the print. It's so super high detailed, it's, it's amazing. And then with the Captain America image there, again, you can see just how, how sharp and high quality it is. It's uh, fantastic. Now, as the artist, you've got to send, you know, the the images digitally to the uh, to the the store. So it also it also depends on how good your photography skills are and your editing skills and what have you. Uh, and they say to send the files in either TIFF format or JPEG format, but that depends on who you're going to get your artwork through. But Iris Prints like it that way. So this is um, 230 GSM smooth matte art paper. Uh, again, A4 size with a 20 mil border. And this paper here, this each print would be £3.79 plus VAT for those prints. So what, £5 something um, for, for these prints and then sell them for a tenner each or... 15 pound each and again i don't think that that would be too much for a print but you know as you you being the artist you can judge your your customer base and what they would pay and what they wouldn't pay you know them better than anybody else and so you know um it would really be up to you what you put on to that so that's the the prints side by side the um the 230 gsm smooth matte paper here uh and then obviously the 310 exhibition glossy type paper here uh and this is only two obviously this is only two of the papers that you know i showed you there are quite a quite a selection of different papers that you could use and um have done but I wish, I wish I, I had a, got one of my uh, botanical pieces and had it printed out. But I'll, I'll maybe do that later on down the line and um, see how, how it turns out. Um, but I was, I was really, really impressed with the, the, the work, the, the quality of the work whenever, whenever it came through, the, the way it was all packaged up, and the, um, the professionalism of the actual company. So, like I said to you, the reason I make this video is because I, I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, how do I sell my prints and things like that. Well, I don't sell prints for a start, but 
this was the reason why I did this through this company because I wanted to be able to answer questions like that. And so I'll have all the links down below for uh, Irish Print and you can go across, take a look at their website. I've shown you a little bit about their work and their, their work quality, how it all gets sent out to you. So if you're, you know, if you're interested in ordering prints through them, I can tell you, hand on heart, I highly recommend them. Uh, and I think their pricing is phenomenal for, for the, the bits that I've done. Like I say, if you want any of the other types of papers that I showed you, contact them, let them know the sizes that you want, show them the, the art image that you have, and they will give you a breakdown of prices uh, and you can work out things from there uh, going forward. But I was, I mean, even when I got the sample pack through, I was blown away. And I love the way as well, you know, they explain to you about the um, limited edition, sending through the certificate of authentication, things like that. Really, really good. They also say here that um, you can have hand em embellishments done as well. So you may decide to hand embellish on your limited edition or open edition print with uh, paint collage or other medium to make it more individual and to increase its value. The certificate of authenticity can have the words hand embellished or hand enhanced by the artist uh, when selling or advertising your prints. Always state they are glissé fine art prints. So, you know, that again for me was something that I didn't, didn't really know and understand. But like they say, if you're going to get your prints done, make sure that you are letting the person know or letting your client base, your customer base know that the prints are glissé print. Let them know what glissé is, the difference between glissé and just an ordinary print. And also let them know about the, the paper quality as well, because they all matter whenever you're selling your artwork. You don't want um, people to look at, say like a price list that you might have, if you're going to sell a print for £30, they'll look at it and they'll go, my goodness, they're not going to pay £30 for a print. But if you explain to them that it's glissé printing, that the archival state of it and stuff like that, it's not going to fade, all these other things, that might you know, make them understand a little bit more why that price is reasonable. Anyway, thanks very much, guys, for watching this video. Please, if you've got any questions that maybe I forgot about or left out, leave them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, if I can't answer them, I will contact the company and ask them directly and they will be able to verify the answer for you. Um, I will have a written piece about this over on the Art Gear Guide where you might be able to understand the, the paper names a little bit better. I know I'm always trying to do these videos as fast as I can because I know long videos don't really do well on YouTube. Uh, but I'm not, I, I just want to get the information out. I, I just want you to understand uh, what it is you're getting into. I'm not really concerned too much about how long or how short a video is and how many views it's going to get or anything like that. So long as the people that are watching the videos get something from it, that's all I'm interested in. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and um, I'll see you all again on the next video. Bye.